Yeah, I wanted to do a new, uh, I wanted to redo this because the video I did before was just not good. It was, I was still like half asleep. Now I'm awake and I could finally do a life update. And for a life update, a life update for um, a series that been wanting to talk about a series that I did that I'm doing that um really I th I never knew it would have gotten this big and I got people who um even people from school saying I, I love your childhood thoughts videos and that just makes me feel so good inside and uh yeah so the inspiration to childhood thoughts. Let's go back way back to 2014. I uh this is the time I was you know, I wasn't doing good in um I was doing good in school, but I, you know, it was just being this the whole lack of loneliness and stuff and I talked about it in, in another life update. Uh check that video out. Don't want to go in there. But, uh, I, you know, 2014, been doing fine on YouTube. That's where I was mainly doing a hard talk. And I wanted to do something that was for me and not for everybody else. Because I did hard talk for everybody else. It wasn't my own. It wasn't for me. It was for everybody else. Flash forward to summer of 2015. So we go to 2015 and I have my cousin Albert is watching a video. And it is some kid named Jorge or George. Blame it on George or blame it on Jorge. I ended up getting obsessed watching this guy. I was so he was fresh. He you know he was fresh. He he, I believe he came on YouTube a year later. I came on even though I was here for forever, but uh, he he did these videos about lost media. He did videos about band. Shows banned, lost or banned uh, media, and I'm I'm a sucker for that stuff. I love that stuff. I love anything to do with mysteries. I love anything to do with mysteriousness. Um, that's why I've always loved. That's why I always still have a heart for uh, a soft spot for uh, Shane Dawson. That's why. You know, like these creepy kind of videos, but they're still satisfying. You don't know what what's going to happen. You don't know what's going on. Um, and then there's always something at the edge of the tunnel. At the end of the tunnel, you, you're just excited for. And I'm like, I keep on watching his videos, watching his videos. I'm like, this, this guy's got it. This guy finally has something. This guy, you know. And then there's others that... Um, I'm really, I'm a really fan of, like, I really like, uh, like, uh, Vales Keebum, um, stuff has got to fly, like, there's really, these really cool people that get it with, with entertainment and lost, lost stuff, like lost media, and so... I always keep on saying, this is the summer. I started the first episode of Childhood Thoughts in November. And a lot of stuff happened. Family emergencies, so much stuff. I was ready to uh, do it in, I was ready to, um, I believe, start October... It was like around Halloween time I was going to release it. And it, everything just didn't do, you know, everything kept on. So I had to keep, there was a family emergency, kept on turning it, 
back to uh, uh, November. November 15th, I believe, was the first, was where I aired the first episode. And that's what, ha- that's how it happened. It, it was just the love for blaming on Jorge or George, <laughs> let's, uh, or that creepy reading, Vales Kebum, all these really cool people, like really cool peeps. And, uh, First 24 episodes, I don't like. <laughs> That's why I'm on my way to, like, do, you know, um, get back to talking about them. That's why I do, like, a, a series of the whole Nickelodeon studio stuff. I'm, I got a new Nickelodeon Studios episode in, in the works, and it's just, you know, so, uh, that's kind of how it all started, and I'm doing well with them. And I'm so happy for him. And I'm so happy for you to like him. And yeah. It's my life update. (laughs) Hope he's like this. Bye.